Welcome back to chapter two. We will start off by creating a blueprint actor that will receive OSC messages. So go to the BP folder and right click to create a blueprint actor. We'll name it BP underscore OSC. Double click and go over to the event graph, get rid of the middle node. And from the event begin play, we will type create OSC server. In here, just like what we did for Ziximap, we will type in the same IPv4 router address and the same port number and also enable start listening. Then we'll drag out of here and save it as a variable called OSC server. Now you want to do this so that the automatic garbage collector doesn't clear the reference down the line. Then out of the variable, we will bind an event on OSC message received. And out of the red inlet, we want to create an event. And in the drop down, select create matching event. Call the event OSC in. And it seems that there's an issue here in the drop down. So select the OSC in event manually. Now that we have the server, we need to read and process the incoming messages. First, we will drag out of the blue outlet here and save it as a variable called OSC messages. Then we will drag out of that and type get OSC message address. And drag out of that and type convert OSC address to string. For now, let's put a print string and make sure the server is working. So save the blueprint, go back to map one and place BPOSC in the level and move up 500 in Z. If you have completed the prior steps and chapter correctly, when you have ZigSim running and click play, you should be receiving messages like this. In order to extract the Excel float values, we need to parse these strings out. So stop the game and go back to BPOSC. First of all, disconnect the print string from the outlet. And then from here again, we will type split. On this node, we will use the forward slash as the pattern and search direction to from end. If you have experience with CSV files, this is exactly the same parsing concept. Now on the right S outlet, reconnect the print string, compile save, click play and see what happens. What you see is the right side of the string where it was split in half. With this, we can use a switch on string to filter out message receives. So now you can close the window down. Disconnect the print string node and create a switch on string. Now click add pin and with the node selected on the details window, we will change the string to Excel. Now this execution pin, any code will run from here only when it receives messages of address Excel. Don't follow what I'm doing now but for example, for more complex projects, we can receive multiple kinds of sensor values like gyro, gravity, and we'd simply add more pins here on switch on string and set the name. But for now, we only need Excel. So drag out of Excel and type get OSC message float at index. And drag in the OSC message variable and plug it in. Now what this does is that out of this outlet, we will get the Excel value of the X axis or index zero. And the X axis will give us the acceleration along the horizontal axis perpendicular to the plane of the screen. Let's connect the print string again. Compile save and click play to see what it's like. So if you move side to side, you can see the values change. 
And for iPhones, it looks like the values to the right are negative and left is positive. Now these values can be different depending on your device. What we want to do is to only save values when swinging towards the right and also when we swing hard enough and ignore small movements. So to do that, we get a less than from here. I'll set it to minus 0 0.5. Hold down B and click for a branch, connect it. And if it is true, we want to set the absolute value to a variable, which we will create now and call it Excel X and connect it to true. And if it is false, we are going to set it to zero. You can play around with this threshold value to your liking later down the line. But for now, compile and save. Now that the OSC is configured, in the next chapter, we will begin creating the spinning physics actor.